Good morning. Will everyone please join me in Gosho? Namo Ami Davids. Namo Ami Davids. Namo Ami Davids. Good morning, everyone. Um, as you know, my name is Matt Nita. Um, when Reverend Bob initially asked me to speak, I was hesitant, to say the least. But as usual, Reverend Bob assured me that this was going to be easy, especially because it was the pet memorial service. So I quickly agreed to be his speaker. As I sat down to think about what I wanted to write, I, I realized this wasn't going to be as easy as Reverend Bob had told me. <laughs> I sat there for a good 20 minutes thinking, what can I say? I thought about all the different pets my family has had, and still, nothing. I walked away from my computer and figured if I left it alone, it would just come to me. Little did I know, it wasn't going to come to me as fast as I hoped. <laughs> a couple days later, I sat down again and started thinking about our pets. Then I started looking through all the pictures we had, and one caught my attention. This was a picture of a little golden retriever, pu a little golden retriever puppy. Her name was Penny, and she was one of our most recent dogs. When we first got her, I didn't know what to think. I wasn't there when my parents picked her up. But I remember coming home and looking at them and saying, where did this dog come from? <laughs> they told me it was our new puppy. Of course, I didn't believe them because we had never talked about getting a dog before. After about 15 minutes of them trying to convince me that it was ours, I bought into it. She was so little and had so much energy. She would constantly be running around and barking. After hours of her playing, she would get tired and just curl up in a ball on the carpet in the sun. Though it seemed like she would, or though she seemed so little, my dad would always tell me she's not going to be like this for long. It was because she had huge paws, which meant she was going to be one big dog. When she first came into the house, our other dogs were skeptical, and they didn't really know how to react. We have two other dogs. One, a rat terrier, and one is a lab mix. And of course, like most terriers, ours has little dog syndrome and had to be the alpha male. <laughs> he always had to bully Penny, and for a while, we needed to separate them. As Penny got bigger, the dog would just, our, our little dog would just bug her more and more. Fights continued, and of course, Dad would have to be the one to separate them. And then we would have to put up a gate and keep them on opposite sides of the house. It was like a pet version of a timeout. <laughs> this continued for a while, but eventually they came around and they would just leave each other alone. But by now, Penny was pretty big and she was still a handful to take care of. This was all right before Penny got pregnant. Our family had been planning on mating her with one of our friend's dogs and we were surprised to learn that she was gonna have a litter of 15 puppies. Of course, we all had to do our part to take care of her. And it was hard for Penny to get around at times, so we always had to keep an extra close eye on her. We had to treat her just like a puppy again, always having to make sure we knew where she was and how she was doing. At times, it seemed like a difficult task to take care of her, but we knew it had to be done, and we were happy to do it most of the time. When she was nearing the end of her pregnancy, I had to go to Barron's camp. For those of you who don't know what Barron's Camp is, it's a, it's a, Barron's Camp is a retreat for players of past and present Barron's teams. And it's an opportunity for us to just get away for a weekend, play games, and meet new people. When I got back home, I didn't see Penny around. I walked in, and my mom came up to me. She was crying. I wasn't really sure what happened, but she told me that the puppies didn't make it and that Penny had passed away. I was completely caught off guard, and I didn't know what to say or do. I didn't want to believe it was true, and it took me a while to really understand what had happened. I talked to my dad and found out that she was unable to give birth because her body couldn't handle the stress. We were all very sad, and I wondered if there was anything I could do to make us feel better. We all just needed some time to accept the loss. Through this experience, we learned that we care about our pets as much more than just pets. We love and care about them, for they are truly part of our family. No matter what happens, we know 
that our pets are always there for us and we become attached to them. In Buddhism, we know that there is always going to be change and that it's inevitable and that we must know loss in our lives. At times, it's easy for us to take our pets for granted as we take people in our lives for granted. It's easy to think that they will always be around, but in losing Penny, I have learned that we must try and cherish the moments we have with the people we have in our lives and the pets we are fortunate to have. In closing, will everyone please join me in Gosho? We must, we must remember that life is ever changing and we must cherish the moments we have with the people and pets in our lives. Namo Ami Davids. Namo Ami Davids. Namo Ami Davids. Namo Ami Davids. Namo Ami Davids.